Hey guys, what's going on? Um, this is my very quick intro to my midweek video of the Bramley of the Everton Stadium at Bramley Moor Dock midweek video with the voiceover. I usually do these intros and outros at site. Um, so even though my my midweek videos is no flying. Um, as requested by Everton and Lango Rourke. I still like to get to, to site in and do the intro and outro um, just to give it that that better feel. Um, I've got a really, really busy week this week. Um, aside from aside from work, um, my YouTube videos, we are moving house. Um, so I'm quite busy. So for this week only, I thought I'll sit down, do the intro and outro um, just as I'm... Just as my, as I'm editing this video. So just remember these midweek videos are where I cover um, a lot of questions and comments put to me from my weekend video and I use the weekend footage from the weekend just gone. Okay, so here we go. This is my midweek video um, covering any of your questions and comments of the Everton Stadium at Bramley Moor Dock. Let's go. Right, okay guys, so we'll get straight into it. So first things first, I always like to just remind you that the footage you are looking at during this video is the footage from my most recent weekend video, which was on the it was taken on the 12th of November, uh, very early morning on Saturday the 12th of November. So that's the footage you're looking at. And that's the footage that you've asked all these questions and comments on that we are going to cover and refer to now. So. Uh, yeah, let's, let's get straight into it. So here we go with the first one. Okay, first one we have Tony Curran who says, Great vid once again, Nick. Thanks, Tony. At the end of your videos, when you do your still shots, is there any chance you could fit in a finished computerised shot of the stadium in between each pick? I think it would show how far each week's progressing. How far each week's progressing. Plus, I think it would look great. Do you mean something like this, Tony? If you mean something like that, Tony, then uh, yeah, I can uh, I can work on that. I probably won't do it on every video, but um, yeah, it's certainly a good idea. Thanks very much for that. Okay, next up, straight on, we have Andy Firth, who says, Great vid. Shows well at 7 minutes 17 that there are connection points on the end truss and the first roof truss to have a horizontal connection between the two. Ian G replied, yep, yeah, I was thinking the same. On the People's Project app, you can see steel bars connecting the first truss to the back frame just under the roof line. Okay, so let's have a look. Um, I'll bring up the the uh, the picture of uh, last week's video at 7 minutes 17, which is there. Okay, so I'm just saying, great video shows at 7.17 there are connection points on the end truss and the first roof truss. So a horizontal connection, yeah. Okay, yeah, see, yeah, the horizontal connections, yeah. Um, those white, those white steels. So yeah, absolutely. Um, yeah, you you can see that. Um, exactly how they're how they're connected from the top of like the top of the terracing to that roof truss. Um, yeah, good spot, good spot there, Andy. Um, we we'll just have a have a look at that. So that's the picture, that's the still shot that Andy's talking about from seven seventeen, and we'll just have a look. Um, we'll just have a look now at the video where I run along the back of the north stand um, just just coming into to focus now you'll you'll see it there yeah you can see them you can see them clear there so um, yeah it's a good spot I wonder if come this video um, this weekend if there'll be any more of them up there to see um, I haven't had any uh, info yet that they've done they're doing any more lifts this week but uh, yeah good spot good spot you can see them um, them horizontal connections, yeah, yeah, very good spot. Okay, moving on, we've got uh, <laughs> we've got Fuck Nugget eighty eight. Apologies for any um, youngsters watching this. Um, F Nugget eighty eight says, looking at it, the south side will get the second set of roof beams after the north is completed, and the terracing is in as they are building the blue stands and the support for them to sit on. I noticed. Okay, Nugget, let's um, let's have a look at the south side. So you're saying. Um, it will get the we'll get the second set of roof beams after the north's completed 
turns in as they are building the blue stand and the support stand to sit on. I know, so let's have a look at that self stand. Let's go. Okay, so if we first, if we take a zoomed in look at it, you can see, um, yeah, you can see blue steel at the bottom in the middle and to, to the left, kind of by the, um, the east stand. Let's even get a better shot. Okay, so here's a shot um, coming down over the, the south stand from the southwest corner towards the southeast. And yeah, you can see the blue steels down on the on the left on the pitch area. That white frame as well is uh, it looks like they put them up to support those blue steels. So yeah, you can you can definitely see them there. So yeah, you could, I think I think you are right. That that's definitely um, definitely going to be going to be next, isn't it? Um, who was that? Uh, F Nugget. Sorry, how do I forget that name? But yeah, yeah, I think you're definitely right. Anyway, mate. Okay, next up we've got Mark Hudson who says, Hi Nick, amazing video again and thanks for the shot of the pump house, no problem. One thing I noticed is the support for the roof truss comes quite close to the top of the stand. Are they permanent or just temporary? Is there a prize of a Mr. Drone beanie for the best comment? Um, no Mark, there's no prize for the best comments. <laughs> oh, nice try. I might do something, I might do something like that in future. So uh, thanks for the idea and uh, keep keep your eyes peeled, keep watching to see. Um, but yeah, let's have a look. So then you've said the one thing you notice is the support for the roof truss comes quite close to the top of the stand. Are they permanent or just temporary? So let's just have a look at that. Okay, so I thought we'd use this shot where we're traveling up the, the north stand from the, the northeast corner um, up towards the northwest because they'll, they'll come into view now. Um, and I, I want to know what exactly what you mean when you say the supports. Um, Mark, do you mean the, the blue? supports because if so those blue supports are 100 percent temporary or do you mean the white the white steel um comes quite close to the top of the stand so the white steel i think that is permanent um i i think um i mean looking at this angle where i zoom into it yeah i i think those white the white ones are permanent but does anybody know any difference uh, this is where this is the shot where i just have a good close look at at the roof trust they put up does anybody know any difference at all um i mean if they take them out what what supports it so they've got to be permanent haven't they surely um i just i just couldn't see what would support it if they if they took them out what nothing would so they're close to the top of the stands, but I mean they are behind Aren't they so it's not gonna have any impact. So yeah, I think they're permanent anyway Okay, next up we have Steve and who says hi Nick great video as usual. Thanks. No problem Steve The area nearest the river has been mentioned as a car park on several drone videos on the FC original fly-through video to the left of the car park There appears to be a square shaped building. Does anyone know what this is? I know a multi-story car park was rejected. However, this looks a single story building thanks again steve he's then replied to himself well then steve saying um looking again at the fc flyover video the building i mentioned could be the multi-story car park that has been removed from the plan probably answered my own question don't okay steve okay so let's um excuse me drop my phone let's um have a look at that area where you're talking so yeah just right up behind the the west stand right up by the mersey you're talking about here and there was there was in the original plans a multi-story car park but it, it has been um removed from the plans now steve you're right so, so you did answer your own your own question mate. but the car parks have been mentioned a few times and do you know what i said in um one of my recent videos that there is a potential um resolution to this i don't see it as a problem anyway because goodison park doesn't really have much um parking and i don't see it as a problem but i i, I do have a bit of a a, a resolution that I've been made aware of that I'm gonna I'm gonna do a video on very soon. So um yeah, thanks for that. Thanks for that, Steve, and thanks for answering your own question as well. Uh, I still thought of the dresser. Nice one. Okay, moving on. We've got Jim Lightfoot, and this is a big one. So here we go. Great video as always, Nick. Here's a question for you. The stadium's looking great, and is definitely much, it's definitely better than what we've got at the moment in a functional state at least. My question is, I'll put this to all Evertonians. Okay. Um, are you pleased with the final design? Sure, it's got an amazing backdrop, but as a stadium in itself, is it that jaw-dropping? I only ask because if you're working from a blank piece of paper, there's so many things to draw inspiration from. I've always thought the design was a bit generic. 
and lacked any personal touch to Everton itself. Anyway, that's my opinion, and I'm sure other people have their own, which I have no problem with. Jim, it's yeah. Thanks for thanks for sharing that. So what we'll do, we'll just circle the um, we'll just circle the site as as I'm discussing this. So personally, yeah, I am happy with it. Honestly, um, I think it's just going to look like a nice state of the art stadium. Um, I mean, what did you want? You know. If you're looking at, they could have done more. Did you want it to look like something like the the Allianz or something like that? Um, I don't know. I just I just think if you go all out there and be a bit too um, too different, so to speak, um, you know, it could it it could then get a bit boring of a design as well. I don't know. I I just like I like it personally. I like it. I think it's it does have character um it's it's keeping in with the like the the docks um and everything around it so yeah personally i i do like it i had but but it's it's not someone i've thought about if i'm honest with you it's actually not someone i'd, I'd really thought about until you've raised that question so right now yeah i'm happy with it but i don't know maybe i'll maybe i'll start considering that more now jim that, that you've that you've raised the point. Um, maybe I'll start looking at certain things and thinking, could they, could they have done more? Could they have made, you know, could they have done a lot more with this? With this as a, like you said, as a blank canvas, as a blank design. Um, but yeah, it's, it's just not something I've actually thought about as, as an issue at all. Really good point, and it, I'd be, as Jim said, he opens it up to to all Evertonians. Um, and do you know what? And, and anybody else, any other fans watching it as well. Um, yeah, mainly Evertonians, I suppose, because it's, it's their club. But um, yeah, it'd be great to get comments on that. I'd get get people's comments on what do you think of the design? Do you think they they could have done more to to give it, you know, a better Everton touch, so to speak, or just be a bit more out there as a brand new stadium? And could they have done more with the design? Everybody, let, let's have your comments on that. That's that's a good one. Jim, I appreciate that. Like I say, it's just it's something I hadn't really thought of, but I will do now. I uh, appreciate that one, Jim. Well done. Okay, moving on to Mark 007 Davies. Nice name, 007. Um, not sure if you've mentioned the two large square cladding objects that are on the ground between the containers. They could possibly be the first pieces of the roof covering. I haven't mentioned that at all, Mark, because I hadn't noticed it. Let's see um, what... Let's see how, how, how close we can uh, have a look at that on, on my footage, so let, let's take a look. Okay, well even as I'm, I'm coming round there in, in, in shot now, you can, you can see them, yeah, right, right in the middle of the two, um, of the two trusses. There, I, I don't know what they are. Any ideas, anybody? Um, it does, it does look like that sort of thing, like you've said, but... Could be anything. Let's um, let's take another. See if we can take a, a bit of a zoom. Okay, this shot, the like the zoomed in, going across from the uh, going across the east stand there, there, right in the middle. You see them clear there. Just not not sure what they are. Any ideas, anyone? And here you go, the zoomed in shot going over from the south stand, um, bottom right of the screen there. You can see they do. It does look. Um, it's so difficult to see. It's a good spot. Um, on anybody, any ideas what that is? Let us know, please. Okay, next up, Lee Craig Stewart. In this video, you can see a lot of changes. Yeah, I agree, Lee. Um, what is that white canopy-like construction on the north stand terrace? Um, well, we're going, we're going round the, um, we're going round at the southwest corner now, and you can see that the white canopies. Um, wait there. Let Let's zoom in again. Okay, as we zoom in here, Lee, do you mean the white, like the white steel structures that the blue steels are kind of coming out of? If so, I think they are simply um, just temporary support to to also support that that roof truss and the blue steels. So yeah, as we just zoom back up there, if that's what you you talk about, Lee, like I say, that I'm sure that they're just temporary to support the the blue steels. There's some in the south stand now as well, which we where we think the blue steels are going to go up there. So yeah. Okay, David Fogg, are there bricks at the top of each corner of the stands ready to be laid? It does look like it. Um, really, David, I, someone I haven't noticed. Let's uh, let's have a good look at each each corner now. We'll go over the top of each one. Let's have a look. Okay, so we're already um, circling round the 
the southwest um, corner. I can see what you mean if you look right on top of the that corner structure. Yeah, there there is something that looks like um, bricks. I'm, I'm not sure if it is. You, like the it look almost like the red brick um, um, color, but yeah, I'm I'm not sure if it is that. And just coming into view there on on the uh, the left of the the north stands. Let, let's have a look. Okay, David. So we're going to start flying up. Um, the, look, you can see like a couple of packs there. This is the south, the south uh, west corner. You can see see a couple of packs there, right in the centre of the the north stand. You can you can see some. Um, not sure what they are. Anybody any idea? As as we already seen just now, um, we're coming up to the the, uh, the the northwest corner now. Let's go over the the west stand. Yeah, look. So so you see there the the northwest corner's definitely got um like there's four packs of it there. I can see. Um, it's a good spot, really good spot. Honestly, you you guys don't have picked them, pick these out while I'm watching on these on these videos. Really um really appreciate it. I'm gonna just zip forward a bit to the um over to that that southwest corner. There's one, two, three, four. Like seven, seven packs of whatever it is there, seven piles. So let's get down to the east stand and have a look. Okay, here we are at the the southeast corner. There's two packs there on the top of the top of the screen. I think you can see another pack. Is it so? Three. Is that brick though? I'll have to see if I can get a zoom shot at the weekend. If if I've got to try and remember that, I'll try and get a zoom in on these. Unless anybody can comment, letting us know what they are. Um, please, and, and we're getting back over to the 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 southwest corner. No, we're not. North east, south. The, the north east corner. That was totally wrong, wasn't it? Um, where we've already seen that. So, so yeah, David. Um, that was honestly a great spot. That appreciate that one. Well done. Um, I'll try and get a zoom look um, over the weekend and see if we can figure out what they are. If nobody else um, comments, let us know. Uh, thanks for that, David. Okay, and check this one out, Grant Smith. I love this. Um, he said, can see white steel placed behind south stand, presumably as part of the roof structure. I'll have a look at that now. He said, roof panels being constructed in the middle, bricks possible on top of each corner. East stand now appears to have overtaken west stand in progress. So yeah, I love that, because Grant, if, I'd have, um, if you'd have put yours sooner than everybody else, it would have covered most of it. <laughs> Let's have a look behind the south stand. Okay, so as we circle round from the from the east stand to the south, yeah, bot bottom left there, um, I see what you mean, Grant, the, the white steels, um, all there on the floor, behind, um, all the, I think there's there's steel all over the, the site, really. actually, do you know what I say, that when you look at it, it's actually a really clean site, isn't it, um, but yeah, there's definitely steels there behind, behind the, uh, behind the south stand, getting ready, that's, that's without a doubt. And the other points you mentioned, yeah, yeah, um, we covered most of it. But yeah, you said about the the east stand overtaking the west. I agree. The east stand does look does look bigger now, doesn't it? Um, definitely. You know, if you use this shot, which is it, it's quite close, but going along the the south stand, so that's the east you can see um, to the to the right, the picture. Um, and here comes the west. Actually, I don't know when you look. The west, Scott terracing and all sorts coming up so I'm not sure on that one but both coming along really well either way both coming along great right okay next up and, and lastly is um, a subscriber called nothing um, but I've had I had a couple of people message me about this so nothing is said Nick what truth is in the Guardian newspaper article about Everton having financial problems which will hit the build of this stadium or is it the usual sensationalism with media all over the world if you're aware of any news around that would I would love to know. Um, thanks for a great video again. Okay, so I mean, obviously, obviously, I, I don't know the the truth in it. Obviously, you know, <laughs> I fly drones around, um, but I do get I do get why people ask because I, I do get quite a bit of info because I because I do these videos. Um, I'm very lucky to have people um, contact me, um, you know, either anonymously or just asking me not not to give their, their details out and give me information on this particular point. So, so to, to start with, um, I'll share 
a picture of the of the article now. It's an article by um, a chap in um, a report for the Guardian named Simon Goodley, um, and and here's a here's a screenshot of of the article. It's called um, the football club, the billionaire and the bills, Everton race to build its new home, and he he basically reports about um, about the clubs finances um going back going back a few years um i'll put a link to the article in my in the description as well by the way everyone um it is a good read it it's it's a good read and i don't know the truth in it and what what is quite apparent is that um simon goodley's obviously done quite a lot of um research before he's before he's written it but it's also, I think, I think it's also apparent he doesn't know that much, too. Um, he's done quite a lot of, of research into one of the um, one of the funders. Um, let me let me locate them. It's it's a company named. Ooh, it's, it's in here somewhere. I'm I'm scooting through to have a look. Sorry. Um, it's a company named. It's going to come up right now. Rights and Media Funding Limited, RMFL. Um, he says they're a small player in the world of financing that has also lent money to West Ham, Nottingham Forest, and Spanish top flight teams. And he reports quite a quite a lot about that that company and how it how what he gets at is how it doesn't make sense how this how this company um, have been able to don't seem that large but they're able to to be involved in such such big um organizations like like premier league football clubs and that but he also says that we haven't secured funding to to complete the build um of the stadium and we're we're kind of like scraping around trying trying to get investors and trying to get funders to to build it so it's a bit of a worrying article and i don't know the truth in it um nothing if anybody does know anything uh please please let us know um have a read the article it's it's a decent read um but it's also you know you find out a bit but also also kind of find out nothing it's it's one of them um articles so um to answer your your question nothing when you've said um what truth is in the guardian newspaper article i, I don't know <laughs> i don't i don't know what Anything I do find out, I'll, I'll definitely let let you know, let everybody know. Um, right now, I don't know. One thing I will say, I, I was I was under the impression because I think I, I spoke about this very early in the in the project of um, the Everton Stadium at Bramley Moor Dock. I was under the impression that the funding was all secured because I, I thought we'd actually um, we'd actually rejected a loan from the council because we we were all okay with the funding um i'm not i'm gonna have to recheck recheck um all that now so like i say it's something that i caught my eye um nothing it had been sent to me actually when i say caught my eye it had been it had actually been sent to me this article um it's a little worrying if there is truth in it i'll be honest one thing that is worrying it says that if we don't manage to complete the stadium it's we have to return Bramley Moor Dock back to its the state it was before Everton tried to build a stadium and done anything. I mean, <laughs> that's a job, isn't it? Um, you know, to the point of even taking all the, the sand out and filling it with water. I don't know, but it's a bit of a worrying article. But like I said, it, it doesn't, it says a lot but doesn't tell you much, in my opinion. Um, read the article, anyone who's interested, and let, let us know your thoughts. So I've just been circling circling the stadium there and letting you have a look at, at some shots and that whilst I, whilst I um, address that. Um, I'll leave the, the link to that article in the description. But yeah, any anybody who knows anything at all, give us, give us your comments. It's interesting, and it's not, um, my opinion. So yeah, guys, thanks very much. Um, I'll end that there, and we'll jump to the outro. There you go. Okay guys, so there you go, that was my midweek video um, covering the Everton Stadium at Bramley Moor Dock and your questions and comments that you put to me from my weekend video. Um, we had quite a lot in there, um, going on 25 minutes or so. 
Um, so I'll keep this really short because you've you've been watching long enough and I appreciate it. Thank you if you are still watching. So um, thanks very much, guys. I'll be back there at the weekend to do my full circle of um, of the Everton Stadium at Bramley Moor Dock. Um, have a good look at it. See see what's changed with the roof truss. See if you know there must be. I'm sure there's loads more. So we'll have a good look at it. Um, please like, share, subscribe, guys. Um, I've said this recently. Only about thirty percent of people that watch actually subscribe. Please hit the subscribe button. It costs you nothing to subscribe. Um, if you would like to buy me a beer, you can do so using this link. Only if you'd like to. Um, no pressure there whatsoever. And last but not least, you'll see I've got a new cap on today, a grey one. Um, for any branded clothing, go to Design and Stitch in Morton on the Whittle, where their website is there. Um, they'll sort you out. Guys, thanks very much for watching. Appreciate you all. I will see you Sunday when I'm back at the Everton Stadium at Bramley Moor Dock. Take care, everyone. Bye now.